can't believe the lapel mic was giving me so much problem. I mean, I'll destroy all of my footage. Projector not on. Now I work. <coughs> Technicational. Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Technicational. My name is Peyton Wilmot and today we'll be doing a full review of the S24 Ultra. That's the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let me see it. No, 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 no. Let me not see it. No, no, I can't cut the video. Now, let me say in advance, this is not how I planned my review of the S24 Ultra to be. This is not how it was supposed to be. I had a, a whole bunch of shots planned out, me with the phone talking, and um, I was using a, a, a new mic set with the lapel, and yeah, the, the audio just came out to be crap. A matter of fact, you can't even hear the audio. And the videos look weird without the audio, as, as, as you can see. I was actually telling the person to zoom. No, to help it. So anyhow, we're here to talk about the S24 Ultra and what is new about it, if you should get it, if it's better than the S23, or in my case, you know, um, I use the S21 Ultra for everything, even edits and B-roll shots. I wanted to see if it's so much better that you could move on and leave the old and go with the new. And not to mention, it has crazy AI features as well. Um, I think it has crazy AI features because that's how it's advertised to be. But you know me, I'm going to go through the phone and see if it's true. So let's get right into reviewing the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So the first topic we're going to cover is specification and just build quality and design. Now, on the Outlook, you might think that the S23 and the S24 looks the same and probably have the same features and same camera layout and stuff. No, get that out of your head. There is similarities, but there's so much difference that it's worth an upgrade if you're a 23. So first off, there's no more curved display on the S24 Ultra. And after using it, I really do like how the flat display panel feels when you swipe from the edge, or worse, if you put it in a case. I was annoyed of these curved screen and how the case them hug it. And also, if you're one of those persons where you use screen protectors, screen protectors are horrendous on curved display. If you have a flat display, it's better for screen protectors to go on and work properly. So, good move Samsung, S24 Ultra, flat display internally though you get 12 gigs of ram and you can get up to one terabyte of storage but i think the base one is 256 gigs also it comes with the latest and greatest snapdragon which is the snapdragon gen 3 and this promises to give you great battery life high performance and a whole heap of ai features which we're going to look on later also, you do get a 6.8 inch AMOLED screen on the S24, but there is, I, I found a little problem when I was using the phone immediately as I got the phone and turned it on, I realized that something wasn't rubbing me the right way about the display and the colors was a little bit neutered. Now, when I did some research, I realized that Samsung turned down the brightness and saturation of the display and yeah people weren't liking that so they actually sent out an update to bring it back up to what you usually expect from samsung ultra phones and um 
I didn't actually get the update, so I can't tell you if it actually fixed the problem, but I heard persons get it and I heard it fixed the problem, so uh, I'll just take the word for it. The phone is also made from titanium frame. It says it's titanium. I don't know how much titanium it is, but it titanium sound close to anamantium, which is in Wolverine. So I'm guessing that it's strong. I'm not going to drop it and test it because I can't afford the phone, but at least you know it is supposed to be strong. So. So let's talk about camera performance now. This is where some of the AI functionality comes in. Now, the camera base level is good, phenomenal. The video quality is good, the picture quality is good. It's good in night, low light, high brightness. It no matter what time of day, if you take out this phone to take a picture, you're more than likely 99% of the time going to get a good photo but with AI it makes it even better right no to be honest the AI works when it works but for me some of the times I was actually trying to do these things that you see on the, the video or the, the internet when it's advertising it does, it does some weird stuff like I'm trying to move this person over here, but it's putting a barricade in front of him. What? Yeah, so I think they have some work to do with the AI thing, but at least it's good when it's good. Slap hell, Mike, with the so you remember I promised you to talk about battery life. Now when it comes to battery life with the S24 Ultra, it gets better the more you use it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, they call it machine learning. Yes, it's machine learning. So it learns your habits and the apps you use at what time of the day or things like that, right? And the more it understands is the more the battery gets better for me the first time i was using it, it i easily get a day and at the end of the day i'm like at 30 35 percent and then after a week still using it i realized that 35 went up to 40 45 50 and i was like the battery life is getting better so what are my final thoughts on the S24 Ultra? You know, Samsung is the only company that I know from day one to now, they don't take features out, they just keep adding. Just keep adding. So many features are in these phones that half these people don't who buy them don't even know what is there. I mean, the S24 Ultra still has the ability to zoom in, zoom out by waving the one at a certain way on the phone and doing AR doodling, but it's not advertised for this, but it has been there from the day they advertise it till now. And for that, Samsung is forever going to be this company that keeps improving their software. So the AI is not working to my expectation, I don't know about anybody else, but I do have confidence that it will get better over time. And their camera is something they built until they are where they are now. The battery life is good. The durability of the phone is good. The display is top notch. Everything about the S24 Ultra is showing you what Samsung built on to where they are at now. And if you want a phone that do everything, the S24 Ultra is it, no doubt about it. With software support going farther than any other phone and battery life that gets better the more you use it. Anyhow folks, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for bearing with me through the video until the end. And thank you out there for watching my videos. Comment subscribe leave your funny thoughts and recommendations below and until next time peace
can, can somebody help me? I just stopped that, that, that video that part the, 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 the laptop, please. Please. Snakes in the grass, you gotta watch where you step. Blood on the leaves, you either kill or be killed. When there's food on the table, you either eat or you starve. And when the shots in the water, you either sink or you swim. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there.